Before we get into this next video, make sure that you're aware that we have a contest where you can enter to win up to $20,000. All you gotta do is go to the TroyKernsChannel.com, enter to win, and make sure you text the number below. Troy Kearns, real estate investor, bringing it to you from our Las Vegas studio. And in this next video, I'm going to discuss how you can become a successful real estate agent. I might know a thing or two about it. I've sold over 3,000 houses, so I know what it takes to be a successful realtor. In this video, I make sure you stay tuned to the very end because that's where I get into the nitty gritty about how you can make millions of dollars selling real estate so that you can invest real estate. Make sure you stay tuned till the very end. You hit the like button, you hit our notifications, and then if you got a question, comment below because we'll make a video on it if it's relevant to what we're trying to talk about. So some of the subjects we're gonna talk about are professionalism, client, repeat clients, CRMs, and others. So stay tuned, I'm gonna get into it right now. First of all, if you are just brand new into real estate and you got out of school, you got your license, you got your certification, you're happy, you're so excited, <laughs> understand that we have 12,000 agents in Nevada and out of 12,000 agents, a thousand of them probably live above the poverty line and about 11,000 are below the poverty line. So a lot of agents are just part-time agents that have their license, they say they're a realtor, but they might be working at 7-Eleven, okay? You need to understand that just because you have a license, that's not gonna make you a successful realtor. That just allows you to earn a commission that you can sell real estate. So the first piece of advice I'm going to give you is that if you are brand new, you need to link up with someone like myself, okay? I'm not looking to build my team right now, so please do not contact me, but find someone in your market that is looking to build their team and that has a training program that you can learn from and that has a ton of knowledge and experience. And, and I'm gonna tell you this too, like don't go just link up with someone who's looking to start a team. I've got guys that I've coached out of their diapers and then the next thing they know, they're ready to go. They've got their own team and they're like, I'm a guru, I'm a this, I'm a that. I'm like, you've closed five transactions. You need to make sure whoever you link up with has got years of experience okay we want that years of experience i don't need two three i mean like three to five okay three to five years of experience and hundreds of transactions of experience that's what really counts like i used to, i remember one guy i was talking to one time an agent he's like i've been in this business for 35 years and i'm like okay but how many transactions have you done? Because I was in the business at that point in time, five years, and I had done 2,000 transactions. So transactions equals experience, years in the business do not. That equals like servant time. You're like in the prison cell. <laughs> You know the whole deal. So anyways, um, maybe you don't know the deal, but anyways, what I'm getting into is make sure you set yourself up with someone who can hold your hand and be a mentor to you, walk you through the process, how to write, write a contract, where to fill it in, how to get the right lender, because a lot of times people just don't know what they're doing. And even when I coach people, listen to your mentor. If, if I tell you what to do and I'm your mentor and you go, um, you know what, I did it my way. I'm not gonna mentor you anymore because you don't listen. If you can't listen, I can't teach you. If you can't focus, I can't focus you. So you need to be able to focus and listen, okay? So let, we got beyond that, so you wanna hook up with a mentor, you wanna hook up with a good team, you wanna also make sure that you get continuing education, okay? If, if you're broke and you don't have time, the best thing that you can do is get yourself educated. There's a lot of agencies that are always trying to recruit and then what they will do is offer you free classes. And that's gonna bring me into my next segment, okay? When you get those free classes, they give you information. Take that information and put it to use. That's how I became a successful investor. I took a class on REO. REO is known as bank foreclosures, right? And when I took that class, it was right before the foreclosure crisis happened. I had no deals going on, I had no money, I had negative $26,000 in credit card debt, and I had $600,000 in debt. So I had time, I didn't have money, right? So I took this class, and the lady starts explaining about how you get REO clients, what are asset managers, what is all that about? I'm looking around me. I'm looking here, I'm looking there. Everybody's fogged out, they're not focused, they're not paying attention to what's going on. 
After class, I went up to her. She told me that one, two, three, go find an asset manager, find an asset manager that manages in that state and get repeatable business. That's the whole point. You wanna find repeatable business in real estate. It's always hard to go find one seller, one buyer. But if you can find a seller who has many properties to sell, and let's talk about who those are. They're financial institutions, they're bankruptcy magistrates, they're bankruptcy trusts, they're divorce attorneys. These are sources of deals. You need to find sources of deals. Another great source of deals is working with investors. Investors are gonna teach you how to negotiate, how to buy deals, and how to sell them. So make sure that you work with repeatable business, okay? And then obviously, I talked about it, you wanna have a client relationship manager. Everybody goes in there. I don't care who it is you put in your CRM, put everybody in there. If it's your ex high school girlfriend, probably don't put her in there. But put everybody else in there that is in your sphere of influence, okay? Put them in, in there and then use it. Use it to send them weekly, monthly, quarterly emails that are relevant to them. Make it sound authentic to them. I use a system called All Clients CRM. It's a very basic tool. It allows me to reach out to all of my people in an email like it's a personalized email. It allows me to set up automatic birth date notifications so that I'm the first one going in there and saying, hey, happy birthday. People like that. Give them value. Don't give them a freaking recipe on casserole if you're trying to sell real estate. Give them value. Give them tips on how they can make more money on their house. Tips on what most home sellers do to make more money. That identifies you as a professional. The recipe identifies you as a cook. You need to be available as a real estate agent, okay? What does that mean? If you're brand new, you need to be available, okay? So if you're working a job because you're not making any money in real estate, that's fine. But let people know. Don't be like secretive and don't be over announce it be like, I can't get to you back to you between the hours of nine to five because I have a banking job. Just say like, you know what, I've got a pretty busy schedule, what works best for you and communicate what your schedule is like and when you can show them properties. Most people don't need to know all your baggage, so don't give it to them, okay? Be available, be ready for them, return their phone call right away. You would be surprised how many people who are real estate agents do not return people's phone calls. Don't pick up the phone. In fact, on their voice messages, they might say, hey, don't call me, send me a text. Okay, you're in customer service, pal, or gal, or whatever your name is. You need to be available and you need to have excellent customer service. The reason that I believe I have ex excellent customer service is... Red Robin. Yum. Thank you, Red Robin. Certified designated trainer, the whole bit, yeah. Great customer service here because I was trained in it. So if you don't feel like you have good customer service because you don't know what the hell it is, Go to a place like Gucci, or go to a place with high end and see how they treat their customers. Don't walk in like a bum because they're probably gonna think you got no money, but they're still gonna treat you nice, okay? Learn what customer service is and understand how it applies to real estate. People are gonna work with who, people who they like, people who they know who has knowledge in the business, people but they w believe who work hard and is going to work hard for them. Anybody who hired me knows that I work my you know what off for them. And they should think the exact same thing about you. Finally, 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 we are here. My favorite and my last thing is use technology. Man, you guys got it so freaking easy. So freaking easy. When I started in real estate, we were taking Polaroid pictures. Just kidding, that was the guys before me. But literally, the tools today, your iPhone, you can take professional photos with it. I don't encourage that, but when you're starting out, it's great. You can play with it, obviously take a class, learn how to use it, but use your technology. Use your CRM, sign up for a newsletter. Do anything you can do to get these people to remember you. You want to use technology. You can set them on a, uh, on an email where any house in their neighborhood is sold, they're notified, right? How valuable is that to them? And it's for you, it's just setting up an email. So make sure you use the tools of technology. There's so many of them, I will not even begin to get into detail. I would say the highest and best use of that technology is a CRM and is a cell phone. And listen, let me tell you something, my cell phone is pretty much always on me. You can FaceTime with your clients. Use that, FaceTime with your clients. Send them voice text messages, send them videos. They want that, send them a vid, don't send them anything bad, okay? Send them a video of the house, 
If they ask you to go tour something, be like, hey, here's the video. Send them a nice quality video. Don't go into too much detail. And don't be shaking the camera all around where they can't see nothing. Take professional videos, do things with technology that are gonna separate you from the old school way of thinking. That's all I got, folks. If you're gonna become a successful agent, surround yourself by other people who are successful. Your net worth is only as much as your net work, okay? With real estate, the way that works is you're only as good as the guy you're sitting next to, okay? If you're hanging out with a bunch of guys who aren't producing any business, all they're gonna do is complain about how bad their lives suck, and then you're gonna think, my life sucks too. Hang out with guys who are positive, who are motivated, who want to succeed, and you will too.